Back in on that breaking news right now, a police standoff near Thomas and 23rd Avenue. Mark Liverman live on scene talking with neighbors this morning. Good morning, Mark. Uh, yeah, and since we last went live with you, we have heard bangs, what sounded like flashbangs. We just heard one again, uh, sounded like a flashbang. You hear it right there going on right now uh, next to that police activity next to that area right there. Uh, just a couple seconds ago, we heard some glass breaking as well in that immediate area. See all the police activity SWAT just past that in that area. Um, they look like they were possibly knocking out some lights um, along that side of the apartment complex. Don't know if that was gunfire or flashbangs. It's tough to tell, uh, but I did see some smoke coming from what looked like a muzzle or some kind of a weapon uh, in that area. But again, it's possible those were just flashbangs that are going on right now as well as some broken glass that we were hearing we also heard shouting just a couple minutes ago um, as well we've got Justin Gabriel here and Justin you were uh, one of the people who were evacuated in a unit uh, around three o'clock this morning tell me kind of what happened uh, just being startled awake to a huge pounding uh, kind officer told me that an incident was happening just a couple doors down that they were evacuating certain key points of the apartment so individuals can be harmed Okay, um, what happened next once you came out into this area? I know there were a couple people um, here as well who were also evacuated. What, what kind of happened over the last couple hours since then? Uh, there's just been a ton of police activity, especially like crowded around the door, uh, SWATsmen coming in and out. Uh, heard through the grapevine here that, there's, that they're knocking out some lights and that he's held up in his place a little bit. Did you, I know we have been hearing shouting, we've been hearing those, the sound of um, glass being smashed. We heard some, what sounded like possible flashbangs a couple seconds ago. Um, you say you've been hearing that for a long time, possibly since almost this started. Yeah, I've been out here for about almost close to three hours and it's been nonstop of just crazy activity and loud banging and a bunch of glass being broken. I can't even imagine how scary, first of all, being woken up to this and then having to stand here, kept on this side, what this is all like for you, for Stacy, for all these other people who've been evacuated. I'm honestly just glad my, my wife and my two-year-old son aren't here to be out here in the morning. But uh, thank God a lot of ch people's children aren't out here at this time of night. Okay. Well, Justin, we're happy you're okay. We're happy Stacy's okay. We spoke to her uh, earlier as well. Everyone else who's been evacuated from their apartments. Again, a hostage, a standoff situation going on right now behind us. Uh, we are told uh, one woman possibly has, who was kept inside, has now been let out of that unit. Um, but we do know there is still that man inside of that unit. Again, we heard some flashbangs or possible gunshots. Unclear what those were, uh, but we're going to continue to work the story uh, and bring you the latest coming up. Back to you. Oh, I would say probably a